My name is Outsider2522 and welcome to another Eidolon video. Today we're going to be looking into a very, very specific mechanic in the game and that's snapshotting. Let's talk about it. What I've noted from my Discord is that people have a lot of questions about early to mid game rather than the late game. So I'm going to try and put some of those out to you guys, some little tips, some little guides on how to do that sort of thing. Let me know if it's useful to you. If you do want to join the Discord, there is a link below. And as always, feel free to like, share and subscribe. It really, really helps channels grow. We've grown massively over the last few months. I want to keep up that trajectory, keep growing and become the best community in the whole of Ireland. OK, so what is snapshotting? It is exactly what it says on the tin, OK, in that there are certain mechanics in the game where you can, in essence, take a snapshot which is kind of like a screenshot of your stats. Then as the mechanic loads it in, those stats stay. OK, this means that you can get extra efficiency and things like that. So I'm going to show you how it works and why you might want to use it. Now, the main two times when you're going to use this is on your warrior classes when um, taking a sample for mining and on your mages when taking a sample for chopping. Chopping being very important because it's the best way to get atoms currently. Now I'm going to talk about the warrior path to begin with, but it's basically echoed in the in the mages path. So when you get to world two and you unlock alchemy, there is a bubble in the orange power cauldron called hearty dig. What this is going to do is it's going to add a percentage of mining efficiency per power of 10 max HP. Now. What this means is the more HP you can stack, the better your mining efficiency. However, HP is one of those things which you can snapshot. How do we do it? So I'm going to show you in the background an example of how it's done. OK, and I'm going to talk you through it. So what you want to do to begin with is um, I'm very fortunate in that I have the skill cards passive. You may not. You may not be that far in Rift. If you're not, I highly recommend it because passive skill cards are going to avoid some of this. You will most likely need two presets for cards just for ease of purpose. You can do it on one, but it means you're going to have to switch around cards. And if you can see, I start off with a skilling build with my skilling cards on. I have an efficiency of 1,304 billion. OK, now what we can do is we can actually increase the HP of my warrior. And when we go into a new stage, it will snapshot it. Now, the good thing about this is you can run a second card set, which is exactly what I'm doing. Now, the second card set, and by adding the HP potions onto my build, I can increase my efficiency. <clears throat> so when I change screen, what happens is my efficiency actually goes up to 1,339 billion. But that's not all. We can actually push this one step further because some smart people in the community have figured out that if you go into alchemy through your quick reference, it will actually recalculate and you will get a higher number. So when I do that, I end up with 1,349 billion. Now, this may not sound like huge numbers. It's an extra 45 billion efficiency. OK, which when you're in the in essence, I'm in the trillions, 45, 45 billion doesn't sound like a huge amount. For me and as someone who hasn't really put a lot of time into snapshotting, that's a 5% increase. If you were to put more time into your HP or MP, you can get up to 10% even higher. This is something that a lot of end game players are doing to try and increase their sample size. And it's something that I definitely recommend that you do. Now, this works the exact same for mages, except you're going to buff the, the your MP instead of your HP. It's slightly more difficult because there isn't any food that will increase your um, MP, whereas there is food that will increase your HP. There is another form of snapshot that is useful, and I mentioned it in my construction video. So you can actually uh, snapshot the construction obols. I will show an example of me doing it in the background. And what you will, in essence, do is you will put all of your construction obols onto the character that you're going to play actively with. OK, they have to be active. On mine, when I move over, when I don't have the construction obols, my uh, Build rate is 1,393 million. So 1.3 billion, roughly. Well, 1.4, sorry. You then put on the obols, and you then go into the um, into the gem shop, the premium shop. It's very important, because when you change stage, it doesn't seem to snapshot, whereas if you go into the gem shop, it does. So you'll go into this gem shop, 
And then when you come out, you can actually change your obols around. So after I go into the gem shop and come out, I have a build rate of 1,556 million. Okay. That is a substantial difference, 150 million build speed. So that's roughly a 10%, well, maybe more, probably about 15% increase for me. Okay. You can then snapshot it and you can change your obols into something else. And that will stay with the higher rate of 1,556 million in my case as long as you are active on that account. The final place where this is useful and maybe something that you might want to consider is snapshotting card drop rate. Now, unfortunately, I'm at a point where I am one in one hour for almost everything in the game, so I cannot show you this in progress. However, what you can do is have a card drop preset. So um, running Snellbees, um, I can't even remember what else drops it. Is it the Giga Frog drops this card drop rate as well? And the uh, Moustache. I think they're the free card drop rates. Um, so if you put those on when you enter a, enter a room, that card, the card rate drop is also snapshotted. After that, you can then increase your damage, maximize your multi-kill, whatever you want to do, but your card rate will still be at the higher rate, which means that if you're farming those Ruby cards, which can take quite a while, this can potentially help you to do that quicker. If you found the information in this video useful in any way, shape or form, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. You've been amazing. Until next time, take care.